Ever wondered how crude oil turns into the petrol and diesel that fuels your car? Let's take a quick dive into the heart of an oil refinery, a complex industrial city where black crude is transformed into clean fuels. First, crude oil arrives at the refinery by ships or pipelines. It's stored in large tanks before processing begins. But crude oil is a mix of hundreds of hydrocarbons. We need to separate them. The crude oil is heated up to around 350 to 400 degrees Celsius and sent into the atmospheric distillation column. As it rises, different components separate by boiling point gases at the top, petrol next, then kerosene, diesel, and heavy residue at the bottom. Some fractions are good to go, but others need upgrading. Heavier fractions are sent to vacuum distillation. Others go to cracking units where large molecules are broken down into lighter, more valuable ones like petrol and diesel. Now we remove impurities. Sulfur is stripped out in hydro treaters. Then the treated fuels are blended with additives for performance and stability. This is where we fine-tune petrol octane or diesel cetane levels. Finished fuels are stored in tanks and loaded into trucks, trains, or pipelines for delivery to petrol pumps near you. It's a massive logistics operation running 24-7. Refineries also manage emissions, waste, and flammable gases with strict safety systems. Flares burn off excess gas and control units filter pollutants. Environmental compliance is non-negotiable. So there you have it. Crude oil to clean fuel in a high-tech maze of heat, pressure, chemistry, and control. The next time you fill up your tank, remember the science behind every drop.